Welcome back to Educator.com and our series on AP Computer Science. Today's topic is loops. We'll be talking about repeating an action, that is doing an action more than one time in the course of your program flow. There are several ways to efficiently repeat an action in the Java programming language. There is the while loop, the do loop, and the for loop. We'll also look at something called the enhanced for loop. We'll talk about how it's possible to nest loops, to have one that is contained completely within another loop, to have more complex program flow than you can do with a single loop. And then we'll look at some statements that control or alter program execution in the context of loops. The return statement, the break statement, and the continue statement. Sometimes it's necessary in a program to repeat an action, to perform an action more than one time. As an example, we may want to print a list of perfect squares. In math, a perfect square is the result of multiplying an integer times itself. So the first perfect square would be 1 times 1 equals 1, the second one is 2 times 2 equals 4, etc. We can always use something I call the brute force method to perform actions more than one time. We can write 10 system.out.println statements to print 10 perfect squares. This will work, but it requires a lot of typing and a lot of opportunities to make errors in our typing. It also involves a lot of redundant code. There are 10 lines of code that do fundamentally the same thing, but just with a different value. So if we want to make a simple change to the way the output looks, we would need to make the change 10 times in this simple case. What if we wanted to write 100 or 1,000 perfect squares? We would have lots and lots of lines of code, lines of code to change. So let's look at some more efficient ways of accomplishing the same thing. The first method for repeating program action is the while loop. We can use a while loop to perform an action multiple times. In this case, the structure of the while loop is the keyword while and then a condition in parentheses after the keyword while. And the condition must evaluate to a Boolean value of either true or false. If it evaluates to true, the while loop gets executed another time. When it eventually evaluates to false, we don't run the while loop anymore and program flow continues with the next line after the bottom of the while loop. To repeat an action a known number of times, we typically use an integer variable. In this case, I have int i equals 1. And I want to run the loop until i is no longer less than or equal to 10. Each time through the loop, I'm going to execute this print line statement, and I'm going to use the value of y of i multiple times within the print line statement to print the current value. For example, the first time through the loop, I will print perfect square number 1 is 1 times 1 equals 1. The second time through the loop, i will be 2, and I will print perfect square number 2 with i having a value of 2 in each case. After I execute this print line, then I increment the value of i. I increase it by 1. And then at, when I reach the bottom of the while loop, I come back up to the top and reevaluate the condition that's in the parentheses after the while statement. It's very important that you have something within your while loop that changes the value of the loop condition. Otherwise, if I left this out, why the while loop would become an infinite loop because i would never be greater than 10. If I set it to 1 here and I never change the value within the loop, it's never going to cause the condition to be false. And I will run the while loop forever or until I terminate my program. The while loop offers an opportunity to repeat actions using much less typing than the brute force method that I just showed. There are fewer opportunities to make a typing error, and it's very quick and easy to make a change if I should want to change the output or change the behavior within the loop. Let's take a quick look at a while loop in action.
Here's the same code that I just showed. I have an int i equals 1. I have my while statement and the condition is going to be i is less than or equal to 10. I have my print line statement using the current value of i multiple times. I have an increment operator here to increase the value of i so that eventually i will no longer be less than or equal to 10. This condition will be false and the loop will end. So I would expect that this would run 10 times from 1 through 10. Let's check it to make sure. All right, and I did get the expected 10 results, perfect square number 1 through perfect square number 10. So that worked exactly as I wanted it to.